Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am doing this look for you today. I recently created a look using the Jeffree Star Jawbreaker palette and I was so impressed. I wanted to do another look and I really just wanted to go pink, all out pink and use some of the gorgeous pink shades he has in here. And this is what I came up with. It's bright, it's colorful, it's fun. Um, and I'm actually really tempted to wear this. I'm going to a gig next week and I'm really tempted to wear this makeup because it's so colorful and summery and fun and groovy and I probably will end up wearing it. <laughs> so let me know what you think of this look. And if you wanna see how I did it, then keep on watching. And give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it and subscribe if you're new. Now let's get on with the video. <laughs> let's do this. I saw this look in my brain and I just thought it would be fun to just go for a full on pink moment. Okay, let's do some foundation first. Let's start at the very beginning. Hi. I swear that Tim can like sense when I'm filming and then that's when he'll call me. <laughs> to prime today, I'm gonna use the Physicians Formula Spotlight Illuminating Primer. Let's go for a couple pumps of that. I like this primer, I like the texture of it. It adds a nice glow, but it also adds a bit of like a tack. I'm going to British Summertime Festival tomorrow. I'm seeing Florence and the Machine and Cram Krangbin are performing, aka like my favorite band of all time. And they just released a new album today. That was why Tim was calling me to tell me. So I need to manically listen to some of the new album tonight so that I know some of the songs for tomorrow. Let's go for the Physicians Formula Healthy Foundation in the shade MW2. I wanna be glowy today. Since doing my video with Physicians Formula, I've really been liking this foundation a lot. I think it's super nice. This foundation, however, does oxidize slightly, so be careful. Sorry if the lighting just drastically changed. It's so gray today that everything is so dark and so gray and looks really horrible. Uh, so I'm sorry about that. Anywho, everything looks horrible apart from this foundation, am I right? Let me do a second coat. Let me just pull a bit down my neck because I'm pasty. That looks super nice in my opinion. Oh, such a lovely foundation. As my concealer, I'm gonna use my Flower Beauty Light Illusion Concealer. This has fast become one of my absolute favorites recently. It's really, really hydrating, which I absolutely love. I use so much concealer that you know, I work so hard to get my glowy skin. I use really dewy foundations, etc. And then I put so much concealer on and they're all so matte that it just mattifies my whole face. And it's like, what's the point? Whereas this one allows your skin to stay really dewy and fresh. So I love that. I'm gonna use my NARS Radiance Creamy Concealer. This is another concealer that really stays looking fresh. I'm now just gonna set my face. I've mixed the Fenty Beauty powder in butter with Jeffree Star Banana. Because one's too light, one is too dark. And I wanna get use out of both, so I've just mixed them together. Okay, I have baked to the gods. Because I'm gonna use bright colors, I don't want them to fall onto my foundation. So I'm gonna use the Jeffree Star Jawbreaker palette again today because I was so impressed with it last time. I'm feeling like a full-on pink fantasy today. So I'm gonna start with Good Morning, which is like a really, really light pink. And I'm gonna begin by buffing that in the crease. I am going to take the shade Bubblegum, and this is gonna be my main crease color. We're going straight in with the pinks today. Oh, wow. This is a very, very bright, very pigmented color. Oh, damn. That's exactly what we want. No shying away now. Wow, I hope this is picking up on camera as vibrant as it is. It's such a good pink. Okay, to darken this up a little bit, we're gonna take Cherry Wet. This palette just is so lovely to work with. Like if you're somebody who really enjoys playing with color, I really recommend it. Obviously if you're someone who shies away from color and only really wears neutrals, then obviously don't rush out and buy this, but I'm a neutrals girl, but honestly, this palette makes me want to play with color. And I think that's a sign of a good palette. If it's inspiring you to try new things, I think that is amazing. As much as part of me is really tempted to keep this super bright, I am gonna take a bit of raspberry and I wanna create a little bit of depth. So do the exact same thing, but even 
tighter this time. That's super cool. I'm gonna cut the crease. I never cut my crease, but I feel like this look needs a cut crease, so let's do it. Just draw the line, find the shape, and then fill it in. I regret the cut crease so far. <laughs> uh, oh well. I'm taking bubble gum, which was the original transition shade, and I'm gonna push that to blend the outer corner with the lid. I just want something slightly brighter. Okay, now I'm gonna take Good Morning, which is the initial shade we put in our crease. And I'm just gonna set the lid with that. I'm just gonna pop that on the lid. It's kind of like, whoa, when I put this on though, it kind of looks gray. My crease has gone a little bit patchy up here though, which is a bit annoying. There's this shade here, Cotton Candy, which I kind of wanna put somewhere, but See, I really like a matte eye, but I do feel like we need to put cotton candy somewhere. It's just not needed. Honestly, I regret this decision, but you know. All right, I'm gonna get rid of any fallout. I'm gonna do a really, really fine line because I am gonna wear some lashes. Just to darken it up, we don't want a wing. Or do we? This is the stage I always get to where I'm like, do I do a wing, do I not? I'm taking bubble gum on the lower lash line. Am I? I've started now, haven't I? Ugh. Oh my goodness, my leg has gone so dead. Right, so there is the look. I'm gonna throw on some mascara and the unicorn lashes in the style um, lemon meringue, and then I'll be right back. Well, alrighty then, there are the eyes done. It's super simple if you can do a cut crease. <coughs> okay, for my face, I'm gonna try this palette from Diego De La Palma. You guys have heard me talk about them so many times. I love them. This is their full face contour highlight blush and eyeshadow palette with a duo brush for face and eyes. Okay, so it comes with a brush, cute. And then that is what the palette looks like. So I'm just gonna give them a shot, I guess. I guess I'll try the contour shade first. That's like a true contour shade, it's very cool. Okay, the contour's too cool. I'm gonna warm up my skin. This is the Too Faced Chocolate Bronzer. Sorry if you're someone who likes to contour with like really cool tone products. For me, it works as like a base to get the shape, but then I've gotta go on top with something warm. Especially when I'm as pale as I am right now, I really do need a bit of color because I am really, for me, I'm really pale at the minute. Um, let's bronze my chest as well. Much better. This video is going up like, I don't know when this video is going up. I'm gonna be away when this video goes up, but for me, real time, today's the 12th of July and I'm going to see Parcels next week. Um, if you don't know Parcels, they, they're an amazing band who I love. Um, and I think I might wear this makeup. I'm really into it. Let's give this palette another shot. Let's try the blush and the highlight because the highlight is the reason I wanted to try it. It looks super blinding. So we're gonna go for pink blush, obviously. Oh yeah. I'm gonna spritz my face. Oh, I love how this smells. It's the Urban Decay All Night Setting Spray in Summer Solstice. It kind of smells a bit like coconutty. It's... Let's try this highlight. Oh my God. Oh well, not gonna lie. I thought I really liked that highlighter, but it is super like gray. It's like very chunky. Now if I was to actually wear this out, I'd wear it with a nude lip, but I might just go all out pink. Cause when Tim did my makeup, he did it with a hot, with this lip gloss and he did pink on the eye. And I actually really like the color. So I'm gonna use that. Okay, this is the Hourglass Unreal Lip Gloss in Fever. And then in the center, I'm gonna add a little bit of Enchant, which is like a really milky pink. Boom. All right, you guys, here is the finished look. I, I'm obsessed. I really do think I'm gonna wear this to parcels next week um, because this is frigging amazing. This is so fun. I feel like a Barbie. <laughs> so I really hope you guys enjoyed this look. Let me know what you think down below. I have linked every product down below in the order that they were used in if you'd like to check any of them out for yourself. If you're new here, please do subscribe. I would love it if you would join. So yeah, thank you so much and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.